What is going on you guys? It's that time of the month again for another 10 free TTM odd, uh, addresses. Um, I've been getting a ton of support for these videos. I've only been doing them once a month. Um, if you've noticed, it's been the first Friday of every month. And the reason I've only been doing it once a month is because I think it's an awesome series. And I want to keep it going for quite a while. So if I do it for a year, that's 120 addresses. And it's not just 120 addresses, it's 120 addresses that are working. Um, so that's not always the easiest to do. Um, another thing I've started to do is um, kind of themed. So you see the New York Yankee one. This one is inspired by Mike, baseball collector. Um, this is the Diamond Kings edition. Now, unlike Mike, all of these guys aren't Hall of Famers. There's two out of the ten. Um, but if you're into Diamond Kings, I know I was, and I still think they're really, really cool. Um, this would really be a freaking cool project to get you started on getting signed um, Diamond Kings. Whew. Sorry, it's really late here. Um, so first, um, Hall of Famer, Burt Blylevin, um, 1985 Diamond Kings, $20 a card. Um, that's a little steep, you know what I mean? Um, that's way cheaper than he is at a private signing, I'll tell you that. Um, but you can get his certified cards a lot cheaper than $20, or $20 a card. But if you want to get him on a rookie, or if you really like um, Diamond Kings, it might be worth, worth it to you. Um, I would say to me personally, $20 is worth it on a rookie card, and that's about it. But that's just my two cents. Um, next, Frank Tanana um, of the Detroit Tigers fame. Really good pitcher through the years. Um, 1985 Diamond Kings. I don't know if I said that already or not. Um, so that's his address. Next is kind of the second biggest name on this list. You know, Burt Blylevin. And this guy might be one and two, depending on what you think of this cat. Um, Jim Rice, 1985. Um, Diamond Kings is the set. Um, Hall of Famer, years back. Now, I will tell you, he's a strict $10 per card. And I know this firsthand. Okay, About a week ago, I sent him a Diamond Kings. Matter of fact, kind of funny. Um, I sent him a Diamond Kings and a $5 bill. And he sent back my $5 bill. And he wrote on my semi-rigid holder, $10. So, there you go. Um, next is Brett Butler. Ooh, excuse me. Um, Brett Butler, um, San Francisco Giants, Los Angeles, Dodgers. What else was he on? Cleveland Indians, I believe. Um, leadoff, leadoff dude. Um, he's in the 1986 Diamond Kings. Also in the 1986 Diamond Kings is Cal Daniels, um, Cincinnati Reds. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him. And some of these sets, man, were really tough to find guys that were actively signing. So, sorry guys, it's, it's not always going to be Hall of Famers and All-Stars. Next, Corey Snyder. Um, I think I only know him as a Cleveland Indian, um, but a really good ball player. 1986 Diamond Kings as well. Moving on to 1987 Diamond Kings, Charlie Huff. Um, what was he? White Sox, I think, way, way back in the day, but mainly the Texas Rangers is kind of what I know him as. Um, $10 per card. So um, that's what I've read. I've gotten them free a couple times just because I didn't know that there was a, a fee or a donation or whatever. Um, so... Um, go ahead and send him a $10 bill, and, you know, definitely that and a rookie card to me is worth it, but that's just me. Three more. So we got Rick Roan, 1987 Diamond Kings, um, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher, really good ball player once again. Um, so I may not always give you Hall of Famers, but I'm not going to give you garbage, okay? So um, at, at a minimum, you're going to get some damn good ball players and some addresses here and there. Um, next, what's up, Mike O, Ray from Philly, uh, who's Ed Westergriff, I think that's all my Philly boys, I believe, I'm probably missing one, and they're watching it like, come on, dude, think of me, think of me, man, I'm sorry, bro, it's not coming to my mind, <laughs> Vaughn Hayes, um, like I said, 1987 Diamond Kings, 
um, Philadelphia Phillies fame. Um, really good dude back in the day. And last but not least, Herbie Brooks, New York Mets. That's all I know him from. And that's also the 1987 Diamond Kings. So short and sweet and to the point, less than a six minute video, 10 free addresses. All the addresses will be down below. If you want to keep it going, give me a thumbs up and a comment. Please give me the support. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I think I said this in last month's video like this. I never asked for thumbs up or comments except for this video. It seems to these things take up some time doing research, believe it or not. Uh, so that is that. Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye, toodles.